Was there any famous actor or actress in the advertisement? Not at all. The actors were not very well known, I think. Did it attract much attention? I have no idea, but I saw it in many public places. What do you like the most in the advertisement? Well, the vivid images and sound effects did attract me. Do you believe in advertisements? Not really. Ads always say good things and neglect to mention bad things about a product for obvious reasons. How have advertisements changed recently? They're more modern. Digital marketing has proved successful in many fields. What project did you work on? I made an English poster about our environment. Was that an indoor or outdoor project? The project was carried out mostly outdoor. Only the last phase was conducted indoor. Who was involved in the project? My teammates and an advisory teacher. What did you do? We had a field trip to the countryside where we studied insects and plants. Was it a successful project? Yes, we received compliments from our professor. Who was your advisory teacher? Our science teacher, Mr. John. We learned a lot from him. What did you learn after the project? I learned how to write contents and decorate posters. Did you like your partners? Yes, most of them were friendly and responsible, and I particularly liked Michael, the leader of my team. What did you get after the project? After the project, I know how to work in a team and cooperate well with my teammates. Have you ever attended someone's wedding? Who was he or she? Yes, a lot. But the most memorable one is my best friends. Who went with you? I went with one of my classmates. Where was the wedding organized? It was held in a restaurant downtown. What did people do in the wedding? They enjoyed wedding feast, sang, and danced together after giving the couple best wishes of an everlasting happiness. What did the bride and groom wear? The bride wore a white wedding gown, while the groom wore a black suit and tie. What was the most interesting ritual in the wedding? Exchanging rings is the ritual I'm quite interested in. Are weddings a special event of one's life in your country? Yes, along with birthdays. Do people in your country get married early? Not really. The average age to get married for women is 27, and for men is 29. What is the ideal age to get married in your opinion? Well, 27 would be my ideal age. Women are most charming and mature at that age, I guess. How have weddings changed recently? The most noticeable change is the reduce of rituals in a wedding. There used to be more steps in weddings years ago than there are now. What's your favorite coffee shop? My favorite one is The Coffee House, a local coffee shop in my neighborhood. Where is it? It's 500 meters far from my house. How often do you visit that coffee shop? Every weekend when I hang out with my friends. The coffee house is always our first choice. Who do you go with? I meet my friends there. They love the place too. What drinks does it serve? Many kinds. Coffee? Chocolate, cocktail, smoothie, tea, juice of various tastes. My favorite one is hot chocolate. Are the waiters there friendly? Yes, they couldn't be nicer. Do you like the decorations of that coffee shop? Yes, I love it. I fancy the green space they put in each corner of the room. When was the last time you went there? I last went there last Monday. What is special about that coffee shop? The drinks are what make them different. People are just addicted to full-bodied coffee and chocolate there. How do you know about that coffee shop? My cousin recommended it to me, and I did give it a try. Which culture do you belong to? I was born and raised in America, where my culture was shaped. Is that a multicultural society? Yes, it is. My culture is a diverse mix of customs and traditions of various races and ethnicities. How long has your country been practicing those customs? Well, it has a long history, around 10,000 years ago. What custom do you like the most? I like practicing dining etiquette. That's what makes me American whenever I travel to other countries. 
What are traditional customs of men and women in your country? Cowboy hats and boots are American styles, but nowadays jeans and t-shirt are more preferable. Are you comfortable with the traditions and customs of your culture? Of course, I was born with it. How do people greet each other? Well, it depends on the situation. In an informal communication, people just say hi. Have you ever felt drawn to another land? Yes, I'm interested in Indian culture. I wish I can get there someday to attend a typical Indian wedding. What is the most popular means of transport in your country? Most people in my country travel by car. How do you go to school or work? I prefer bus due to its convenience. I enjoy reading books while sitting on the bus. How often do you take buses? Every day. I went to school by bus two years ago, and the bus is still my best choice. Do people in your country like traveling by bus? Not really. They have their own cars. What are some benefits of traveling by bicycle? It's a good way of doing exercise. We can protect our environment as well. Do you prefer public transport or private transport? Public transport is much cheaper. Do you think buses should replace other means of transport? Sure. In the future, buses should be used widely by commuters. What does the government do to encourage people to use public transport? It's a good idea to make public transport as convenient as private transport. Besides, more campaigns should be launched to raise the awareness of protecting our environment. How has transportation changed recently? There are more cars in a household now than before, which partly leads to traffic jams in some cosmopolitan cities. Who is your favorite politician? She's Hillary Diane Rodden Clinton, an American politician. Where is she from? She comes from the USA. Does she appear on TV? Yes, quite often. She usually shows up on TV in news programs. What is appealing about her? She's a democratic politician. Is she famous? Yes, she's well known all over the world. Does she have a great influence on people? Yes, I think so. She fights for human rights. She has a very controversial and influential speech that human rights are women's rights and women's rights are human rights. Do you want to be like her? Being a politician has never been my dream, actually. Why do you admire her? She's one of the few women who succeed in politics. What did she do that you can tell others? Oh, a lot of things. She cares for people's health. She also tackles the issues of adoption and family safety. What's your favorite means of communication? I prefer talking directly to people. How do you keep in touch with your friends? I'm so busy that I don't often hang out with friends, so I usually get in touch with them using social networks or phone. Do you get in touch with your family by phone? Yes, I do. I live away from my family, so phone would be an ideal means of communication. Do you usually write letters or emails? I used to write letters when the internet hasn't been used widely. Now I prefer emails due to its convenience. What are some advantages of using a mobile phone? That's the easiest means of communication, I think. Mobile phones are portable. Just dial the numbers and you can immediately get connected with anyone you want. Do you like handwriting letters? Yes, I do. I like to keep handwriting letters as keepsakes. Do you use social networks? Yes, the youth can now hardly live without social networks. Do you need communication skills using social networks? Sure, even in social networks. How have social networks changed communication? People prefer talking online rather than directly. Because of the illusion of social networks, people tend to forget necessary skills to communicate with others in real life. Do you have good communication skills in your opinion? Maybe yes. People are quite happy talking to me. Are you studying or working? I left school three years ago. I'm working now. Are you self-employed or working for a company? I'm self-employed. I used to work for a company two years ago. Are you running any business? Yes, I'm running a small business. 
What does your business sell? I make and sell handmade cosmetics. Do you have any difficulty running that business? Yes, I had some difficulties attracting customers at first, but everything is getting better now. Is that an online or offline business? I sell products online. Easier selling online than offline because I can take full advantage of my social network. When did you start the business? I started running my own business two years ago. What are some advantages of running your own business? I can take some days off whenever I feel tired, and I can make much more money compared to working for a company. Do you have your own computer? Yes, I owned a personal laptop when I was in university. How often do you use the computer? Almost every day. I can't work without a computer. Have you ever joined any computer class? Yes, years ago. I learned about Microsoft Word and Excel. What do you use the computer for? You know, I'm an accountant, so managing business records would be much easier for me using a computer. What are some advantages of using the computer? With a computer connected to the internet, we can shop, pay bills, or do bank transactions online. Listening to music, watching movies are even more convenient. Do you use other high-tech devices besides computers? Yes, apart from a computer, I also use a smartphone. Should children learn how to use the computer? Yes, I think so. Children should be given chances to approach the computer but under the control of their parents. Do you usually exercise? Yes, I do. Doing exercise is one of my good habits. What sport do you play? Swimming is my favorite. I also play tennis. How often do you exercise? I go jogging almost every day before breakfast. When did you start doing exercise? Just last year, actually. Is there anyone who does exercise with you? I go jogging with my older brother. He's a good company of mine. What benefits can you get from exercising? Well, a lot. Exercise helps reduce fat and build muscles. It also keeps me awake mentally during the whole day. Where do you exercise? At a nearby park. There are some exercise machines for people to use. Why do you exercise? I like moving. For me, life without moving is like a picture without color. Do people in your country do much exercising? I don't think so. They're so busy working that they forget to do exercise. What if people don't do enough exercise? Obviously, they'll gain weights fast and become obese. What is your current short-term goal? I'm determined to get a scholarship to study postgraduate abroad. When did you start thinking about this goal? I started thinking about it when I left university. What difficulties do you have in order to achieve it? Spending a lot of time searching it, I haven't found any scholarship that fits my needs. Do you need any help to achieve that goal? I really need spiritual encouragement from my family and friends. Do your parents support you to achieve that goal? Yes, they do. They're always by my side and support me when needed. Do you think it's important to set goals? Sure, we all need to have some goals to drive ourselves towards them. Setting goals is a necessary step to do in order to succeed in doing something. What are the important qualities to achieve goals? Well, you need to be persistent to what you desire to get. Commitment and patience are needed too. What's your favorite work of art? There's a special photograph named The Napalm Girl. When did you see it? I accidentally saw it five years ago when I traveled to Vietnam. Where did you see it? In Museum of Vietnamese History, the photo was solemnly hung in an eye-catching position in the room. Why do you like it? The photo captured a naked nine-year-old girl running away from the napalm attack, which is really touching. What's special about it? Thanks to the photo, the photographer was awarded the Pulitzer Prize for Spot News Photography. Do your friends like it too? Yes, they do. The photo did touch their souls too. Do you want to be an artist? Nope, although I'm quite interested in art. What qualities does a person need to be an artist? 
An artist needs to be creative and sensitive to things around him, I think. How do children develop their talent for art? Children's talent for art should be recognized and nurtured as early as possible so that they can reach their full potential. Are you a big fan of fashion? Yes, I am. I believe every girl is crazy about fashion. What style do you choose to wear? Well, my favorite piece of clothes is a dress. Depending on the situation, I choose a formal or informal dress to wear. Do you enjoy shopping for clothes? Yes, I'm a shopaholic actually. Is there any fashion icon who you want to wear the same? Yes, I admire Taylor Swift and wish to wear like her. Do you create your own fashion style? No, I'm not a fashionista, so most of the time I just follow the fashion trend. Do you prefer vintage or modern style? Why? Honestly, I love vintage style. Wearing classic clothes makes me feel like I'm special. Have you ever attended a fashion show? Not in real life. I just watch them on TV. What do people think about your fashion style? I don't know exactly, and I don't care much about it. I just wear what makes me comfortable and confident. Are you going to change your fashion style in the future? Well, I can't tell. Maybe fashion is changeable, and I am too. Is fashion important to people? Yes, in my opinion. Fashion can partly reveal who you are. What's your favorite item of jewelry? Well, I have quite a lot of ornaments, but my favorite one is a necklace. When did you buy it? Um, I don't remember exactly when, but I guess I bought it years ago. What's it made of? It's made of silver. How does it look? It looks gorgeous with a ruby clover shaped pendant. Why do you like it? I believe it can bring me good luck in everything I do. What's special about it? I love the vintage style of my necklace. It really goes with my classic dresses. Does it remind you of something? Yes, I spent my first month's salary buying it, so the necklace encourages me to work hard and earn more money every day. How much does it cost? Around $400, if I'm not mistaken. Do you usually wear it? Yes, I just wear it all the time. I'll be missing it if I don't see it. What's your favorite cosmetic item? My favorite cosmetic item is a cherry red lipstick. When did you buy it? I bought it in a local cosmetic shop. How often do you use it? Almost every day. I sometimes change the color. How did it change your physical appearance? Oh, at first I was hesitant to try because I thought it wouldn't match my skin undertone. But when putting it on, the cherry red color did make me more charming and gorgeous. Is it expensive? Nope, it is under $21 only. Is the brand name famous? Yes, I think MAC is well known all around the world. MAC lipstick is an iconic product of the producer. How important are cosmetics according to you? Well, frankly, cosmetics are really important to women, although I agree that the true beauty does come from inside. Is it important to have a good-looking appearance? Sure, you will be given more opportunities if you're good-looking. Are cosmetics harmful? Yes, I guess. Some toxic chemicals in cosmetics may cause skin cancer. Do you think beauty products are a waste of money? Not really. As for me, I just spend my saving money on cosmetics. What indoor game do you like to play? Um, I'm fond of playing bowling. When did you start playing it? I've just started bowling. It's been three weeks so far. Who do you play it with? Most of the time I play with my friends when we hang out together. Sometimes I also go bowling with my cousins. Where do you play? At a nearby shopping mall. There is an entertainment area where people can play various games. Is it easy to play? Yes, quite easy. The bowler has to knock down as many pins as possible, ideally all of them. Are you usually the winner? Nope, because I'm just a beginner. My friends are much more experienced in playing it. Why do you like it? Well, going bowling is quite enjoyable. I love it when my friends cheer me up. 
Is it popular in your country? Yes, people playing almost everywhere. There are nearly 3,000 bowling centers in my country. What are other indoor games in your country? There are many, such as board game, table tennis, squash, boxing, and so on. Do you usually talk on the phone? Yes, I do. It's a good way to keep in touch. What was your favorite phone conversation? It was when I talked to my interviewer. He did give me the good news that I got the job. When did you have the conversation? I don't remember exactly, but it's been two years so far, I guess. Who did you talk to? I talked to the owner of the restaurant where I'm working as a cashier. What did you talk about? He offered me the position and congratulated me. Why did you find the conversation interesting? Actually, it was more exciting than interesting. I was waiting for it for so long, and finally, he did make it come true. Do you prefer talking directly or talking on the phone? Personally, talking directly is much better to me since it's more lively and authentic. Who do you usually talk to on the phone? I talk to my mom almost every day. I will be missing the conversation every evening with mom if one day she stops calling me. What are the differences between talking directly and phoning? Well, talking directly seems more exciting since you can see facial expressions and eye contact. While talking on the phone, you can only listen to the voice. Do you like learning languages? Yes, I do. I love traveling and talking to the local people in their mother tongue. What is your mother language? I speak English. What second language are you learning? I'm learning Spanish. I fell in love with Spanish when I traveled to Spain last year. Is that language popular in your country? Yes, people in my country come from every corner of the world, and Spanish is the second popular language spoken here according to the statistic. How often do you use that language? Quite a lot. I see Spanish people every day in the restaurant, bank, or supermarket. How long have you been learning that language? I've been learning it for five years. I'm in advanced class now. Why do you choose to learn that language? I'm interested in Spanish culture, and I'd like to use language as a tool to discover Spanish cultural values. Who is your teacher? An old Spanish teacher. She can also speak English fluently. Why do people learn a second language? There are many purposes. Some learn to do business, some learn to travel, some just learn for fun. Who is the creative person that you admire? Well, I really admire Mr. Tom, who is an extremely creative math teacher. Why do you admire him? For me, math is quite boring because I have to work with long numbers. I used to hate math so much before I had lessons with Mr. Tom. He has thousands of ways to teach that boring subject, which inspires me a lot. How did he become so creative? I'm not quite sure, but I think that's his inborn talent. Do people you know admire him too? Of course, all my classmates just love and respect him for his creative teaching. What is he like? He has a good sense of humor. He always tells jokes, and we just can't help laughing. Do you think creativity can be learned and practiced? Yes, I definitely do. Creativity, like any other qualities, can be trained. How is creativity important in study or work? It generates energy and makes things more inspiring. Without creativity, work and study are just dull and tiring. Who is a famous celebrity that you admire? Well, I'm a big fan of Miley Ray Cyrus, an American singer, songwriter, and actress. Why do you admire her? Well, she's at my age, but what she's achieved is acknowledged worldwide. What is special about her? I just fall in love with her beautiful voice. I can't stop listening to her songs again and again. My favorite songs of hers are Jolene and Wrecking Ball. Is she well-known worldwide? Yes, she is. She's a teen idol. Do you see her on TV or in reality? Most of the time, I see her on TV. Do your friends love her too? Yes, they do. We usually enjoy her songs, movies together. Do you want to be like her? Yes, being a well-known singer is my dream. What health problem did you have? 
I had measles when I was 18. How did you have that health problem? I thought I'd catch measles from someone when they cough or sneeze. Was that serious? Not really, but it was unpleasant. I recovered after 10 days staying at home. What were some symptoms of that health problem? I had a cold and fever with a cough, a runny nose. The small grayish white spots appeared on my body too. Did you take any medical treatment? No, I didn't. The situation wasn't serious enough to be sent to the hospital then. How could you recover from it? Well, let me see. I drank a lot of water, avoided the direct sunlight, and I had to stay off school for 10 days. What difficulties did you face because of that problem? I couldn't go out for a few days, which was boring. I'm not allowed to play outside, and I felt so bad about it. What do people do to prevent that health problem? By having measles vaccine. Is that health problem common in your country? Not really, due to the effectiveness of vaccination. Are you a tech and gadget lover? Yes, I am. I love shopping for new gadgets. What is an important technological advancement you know? That's the emergence of online payment systems like credit cards or PayPal, thanks to the development of the internet, I think. What do you use it for? I use these services to do shopping online. Now I can book flight tickets in advance without the need to go to the agency. How long have you been using it? I've been using these services for around three years. Does it make your life easier? Sure, it's fast, simple, and convenient. How did it change your life? Well, I can enjoy my life more. I can do a plenty of things online, like shopping, transferring money, booking tickets, and so on. How often do you use it? At least once a week. What are other technological advancements you know? There are many. Electricity, smartphone, the internet, robot, and so on. What is a famous landmark in your hometown? Well, I can't hide my pride to talk about the Statue of Liberty. When was it built? I read on newspapers that it was constructed in 1886. Where is it? It's located on Liberty Island in New York Harbor. What does it look like? That's a woman, known as the Roman goddess, bearing a torch, and a broken chain lies at her feet. What was it made of? The main material was copper. Who was the architect? Mr. Gustav Eiffel, who also designed the Tower of Eiffel. What is special about it? Actually, it was gifted to my country, the USA, from the people of France. Does it symbolize something? The statue is a symbol of freedom. We all love it and are so proud to share with international friends about it. Does it attract many tourists to come? Yep, it attracts 4 million visitors each year, according to the statistic. Do you love handcraft items? Yeah, my accessories are all handmade. What handcraft item do you like? Well, I've got many items, but I really fall in love with my bamboo handbag. Where did you buy it? I bought it in a trip to the countryside. People make handcrafts from bamboo there. Why do you like it? Because it's unique. I travel quite a lot, but can hardly find a similar one. What is it made of? It's made of 100% bamboo. What does it look like? Being made of traditional material, it looks trendy though. My handcraft bag has A4 paper size, which is large enough to carry a bunch of stuff makeup things, a wallet, and tissues. How is it made? Luckily, I had a chance to see how it is made. People spent the whole day knitting hundreds of small bamboo fibers together to make one bag. Is it easy to make? Nope, I'm not really skillful and patient, so handcraft seems super hard for me. What is special about it? The material itself is what makes it special. It's eco-friendly as well. Does it remind you of something? Yep, it reminds me of the peaceful and quiet atmosphere of the countryside where I visited. Is plastic surgery popular in your country? Not really. People in my country are not so interested in plastic surgery. What do you think about people having plastic surgery? It's hard to say. As long as they find happiness in what they're doing, it's fine with me. Why do you think people do it? 
They want to gain a better look, I believe. That's understandable. Is plastic surgery bad? It's bad for health in the long run. Does it do harm to your health? Sure, there are several unhealthy substances in the medical treatments which may be harmful to your body. Do you think changing your look is a good thing? Yes, I can't deny that changing for a better appearance is what people should do. But don't abuse plastic surgery or you will face serious health problems later on. Do you think the development of plastic surgery is a positive or negative trend? It's more a positive trend, I guess. Thanks to plastic surgery, people who think they don't look good can now make themselves more attractive. Do you care more about your outlook or inner soul? As for me, the inner soul does matter more, although outside appearance is important too. What is a part of your face that you wish to change? Although I have some imperfect parts, I have no wish to change anything. I love the natural appearance my parents gave me. What success did you achieve? I don't know if it matters to someone or not, but passing the entrance exam to university was a huge success for me. When did you get that success? I got it six years ago. It's been two years since I left university. Was there anyone who supported you? My family supported me a lot. My mom prepared good meals for me, while my dad helped me with hard math problems. Was it hard to get that success? It was hard for me since I wasn't good at academic subjects at all. What were some difficulties in achieving success? The period before the exam was quite stressful. I was so obsessed with it that I had a serious headache. How did you get it? I stuck to books day and night. I just stopped reading and writing when I felt I knew thoroughly about the matters. How did you feel when you were successful? I was over the moon then. I was looking forward to campus life. How did your life change after that success? I had a chance to learn my favorite major at my desired university and then got a high paying job in an active working environment. What is your key to success? I don't particularly have any key to success. Just work hard and try your best. Everything good will come to you. How many people are there in your family? There are five people in my family. My father, mother, brother, sister, and me. Does your family live in a house or an apartment? We live in a house in the countryside. What does your father do? My father is a doctor. He works at the local hospital. How old is your mother? She is 40 years old, one year younger than my father. Do you have any siblings? What's his or her name? Yes, I do. I have one elder brother, David, and one younger sister, Mary. Are you the oldest among your brothers and sisters? No, I'm not. I'm the second child in my family. What is your mother father like? My father likes playing football, and my mother likes cooking. Do your parents let you stay out late? Of course not. They always ask me to get home before 10 p.m. each night. Do you stay with your parents? Right now, no but I used to. Does your family usually have dinner together? Yes, we do. My mom always prepares delicious meals for us. How often do you eat out? Who do you go with? I often eat out on weekends when I hang out with my friends. What restaurant do you usually visit? Well, there are not many restaurants in my neighborhood, so my best choice is the deli and convenience stores like the Circle K, Mini Stop, Be Smart. What type of food do you enjoy to eat, Western or Asian? I'm interested in Asian food. Western food is not my thing. How much do you usually pay when you eat out? It's not very expensive, just around $5 for each meal. Do you enjoy spicy food? Yes, I do, especially on cold days. Are the servers there friendly to you? Yes, they are. Most of them are really helpful. Have you ever tried Italian food? Yes, at least once, when I was in my friend's wedding party. Are you concerned about calories when eating out? Yes, I am. I'm on diet now, so this really matters to me. Are fast food restaurants like KFC or McDonald's famous in your country? Yes, they are. The youth in my country are big fans of fast food. 
Do you often drink alcohol when eating out? No, not often. Just when I have parties with my friends. How often do you read books? I read books almost every night before I go to bed. What's your favorite type of book? I love reading about different cultures. What can you learn from books? Books can broaden my horizon about thousands of things around the world, and books are also my best friends. Where do you read books? I read books at home, sometimes in the library. What's the most interesting book you've ever read? I think that would be Nepal, a book written about the country of Nepal, published in 1999. How long does it take you to finish a book? Well, it depends on the length of the book, but it usually takes me a week to finish a 300 page book. Do you usually bring books with you when you travel? Yes, I do. When I'm at the airport or bus station, I read books to kill time. Is there any bookstore or library in your area? Unfortunately, there are none near my house. The nearest one is three kilometers away. How many places have you traveled to? I visited all the provinces throughout my country. Who do you usually go with? I often go with my family, sometimes with my best friends. What's your favorite tourist attraction? That would be Venice City in Italy. I love riding the gondola along the canals while watching Italian people live their daily lives. Have you ever been abroad? Yes, I have. I came to Italy last year for a business trip. What language do you use when traveling? English. But sometimes I have to use body language, since not all people are good at English. What do you usually do during your trip? I often go sightseeing, take pictures, mingle with the local people, and sample the local cuisine. What do you do to prepare for your trip? Before the trip, I search for information about the location, weather, famous tourist attractions, transportation, local cuisine, and prices on the internet. What do you usually bring when you travel? I usually pack my suitcase with some necessary items, such as clothes. Medicine, food, a map, and a camera. Do you prefer traveling by car, train, or plane? I prefer planes, although it can be a little expensive. Planes are much faster than any other mode of transport. Do you prefer traveling alone or joining a guided tour? I love backpacking with my friends who share the same interests as me. What type of websites do you often search for? It varies depending on my goal. I prefer entertainment and education websites such as Facebook.com, Wikipedia.org, and VOA Special English. How long have you been using them? I have been using these websites since I was a freshman at university. What do you visit those websites for? I use them to study online or relax after working. What's your favorite website? I think it's probably YouTube.com. Can you read websites in English? Yes, I can. Most useful websites are written in English. What's the most popular website in your country? I'm not quite sure, but I guess it would be Facebook.com. Do you think that youth should use websites as a reliable source of knowledge? Not always. They should choose their sources carefully. Have you ever been in a traffic accident? Yes, three years ago. What happened? I was hit by a car while crossing the road. How did you feel then? I felt really terrible because of my injuries. Who was involved in the accident? The car driver, his family inside the car, and me. Did the insurance company pay for repair service? I was walking, so I did not require any car repair services. Did you need a lawyer? I hurt my lower back just a little, so I didn't call a lawyer. Did you report the issue to the police? No, we didn't want to get the police involved. Sent to the hospital after the accident? No, the injury wasn't really serious. Do you have a driving license? Yes, I do. I always keep it in my purse. Why should people obey traffic regulations? 
to protect themselves and others. The best way are to wear a helmet, wait for traffic lights, and stay in the appropriate vehicle pedestrian lanes. Did you have a happy childhood? Yes, I did. I enjoyed playing hide and seek with my peers. Did you experience your childhood in a city or countryside? I spent my childhood in a rural area where I could see vast rice fields. Did you usually skip class when you were a child? Yes, I did, and many of my friends did too. Who were you with when you were a child? I was with my beloved family. What did you want to be when you were a child? I dreamed of being a fashion designer. Who did you love the most when you were a child? I loved my mom the most, since she was always there and took care of me. Who was your childhood hero? Robin Hood. He took money from the rich and gave it to the poor. What reminds you of your childhood? Green rice fields, which I happen to see everywhere, remind me of my beautiful childhood. Did you change a lot when you grew up? Yes, of course. I'm more mature now, both physically and mentally. Why is childhood important? Because it shapes people into who they will become. How many rooms are there in your house? There are six rooms. A living room, two bedrooms, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Which floor is your bedroom on? My bedroom is on the first floor of a three-story house. Is it big or small? It's not very spacious, just enough to put necessary furniture in. What color is your bedroom painted? It's painted pink, my favorite color. Love your room? Why? I love it very much because it is my private space whenever I go home. What furniture does your bedroom contain? It contains a bed, a desk, and a clothing closet. What do you do in it? Well, I spend most of my free time there reading books and sleeping. How much time do you spend in your room? About 10 hours a day, especially in the evening. Share your room with anyone else? No, everyone in my family has their own room, so I stay there alone. What kind of presents are popular in your country? It depends on the receivers. For children, toys are the best choice. For youth, souvenirs are recommended. Who gave presents to you? On what occasions? I have received many presents, most of which were from my friends. They gave me gifts on my birthday. What was your last present? It was a handmade doll given by my best friend when I moved to another city. What was the one you liked best? I loved my book Nepal a lot. It was given to me on my 23rd birthday by my brother. Did you ever get a present you didn't like? Yes, I have, but I still treasure and take care of them. How do you thank people who give you presents? I gave them presents that they would like. What are the times of the year that people give presents in your country? Some special occasions are birthdays, weddings, graduation, New Year's Day, Valentine's Day, housewarming ceremonies, etc. Who was the last person you gave a present to? My mom. I bought her a coat on a business trip to Bangkok. Is giving presents important in daily life? Yes, it is. It's one of the best ways to show your love and gratitude to someone. Which tourist attractions do you prefer when traveling? Historical places or natural landmarks? Well, historical places are always my first choice when traveling. What do you usually do when visiting historical places? I usually listen to the tour guide introducing the sites and take notes about important historical events. Can you name some historical places you have visited? Whenever I travel to a foreign country, I always visit its famous historical places. Some of them are the pyramids in Egypt, Angkor Wat in Cambodia, Stonehenge in England, and the Taj Mahal in India.